WXBT Delta Weather. Today was just the appetizer of the amount of rain that we're going to see over the next several days as we had just some very light scattered showers push across the Delta as we move through the afternoon. We had a few moderate showers develop over in Arkansas and push into North Bolivar and over into North Sunflower County as well as we moved into the early afternoon. But that has pretty much all come to an end. Now we're just dealing with some very light sprinkles across some areas, including Washington County just south of the Greenville area. Taking a closer look at this, we can see there were a time some moderate showers, but it is dying out some and now just fizzling to a little bit of a drizzle, making its way across the southern part of Washington County and pushing into Sunflower County as well. We'll be heading over towards Humphreys and Sharkey County over the next couple hours, but it does look like this system is beginning to die out a little bit, but we can't rot the possibility of a few light sprinkles or maybe even turning into a fine mist as we go through the rest of this evening. Officially just two hundredths of an inch of rain in Greenville, a trace over in Greenwood, and I expect that's pretty much what everyone across the Delta has been seen today, but you can see over across the river back in Monroe and up in the Pine Bluff area, they've seen close to a half to three quarters of an inch of rain, and we're going to see more rainfall totals like that as we go over the next couple days. With the rain today, temperatures stayed in the 60s, at least in Greenville, as we're at 67 degrees. Greenwood did get into the mid 70s before the rain pushed in a couple hours ago, cooling you down now down to 69 degrees. We can see the dew points with that moisture steadily begin to rise, and that means as those continue to get closer and closer closer to the 60. There's more moisture in the air for a little bit of disturbances to kick that up and create some showers. We continue to have that southeasterly wind on the light side between 5 to 10 miles an hour, but you can see the big difference is those temperatures. A good 10 degrees cooler this evening compared to yesterday, 7 degrees cooler in Greenwood thanks to the clouds and a little bit of showers that we're dealing with. We can see the moisture that had moved through is also falling apart up and back North Mississippi. And you can see that has been the main thing across the Magnolia State, but we are still watching some showers back over Louisiana. Anna. Those are also beginning to develop and fall apart a little bit as they get some of that south southeasterly flow causing them to slow down a little bit and die out. And so you can see that even on the model, it has those showers back over Louisiana kind of dying out as we go over the evening hours and into tomorrow morning. But we could still have just a few light drizzles make their way through. I think for the first half of our Wednesday, we remain relatively dry, but we can't completely rule out the chance for a few light showers. You can see the bulk of the moisture again staying off to our west. As we then progress into the evening hours, this model wants to try and bring even a few peaks of breaks in the clouds, but I still think we'll remain mostly cloudy and could begin to see some of this moisture move through. I think the model is a little slow on that. I think we'll begin to see the rain push into our area as we by about this time tomorrow. Then we'll see heavy rain move through as that line comes through better chance for showers as we go throughout our Thursday and then continuing through the afternoon and evening hours. You can see more of the heavier, darker shades as we even have the chance for some purples. That's when we could even have the possibility for some thunderstorms as we go throughout the afternoon and into the evening hours on our Thursday. So as we go through tonight, though, we're just looking at the cloudy skies with some light drizzle temperatures staying mild again only into the lower 60 thanks to that cloud cover. Then as we go throughout the day, we're looking at spotty showers maybe to begin our day, but I do expect most of us to remain on the dry side, 64 degrees. We'll get into the mid 70s with a few chances of on and off showers, especially better chance through the afternoon hours. And then as we push into the evening, we're looking at the chance for a few scattered thunderstorms, 68 degrees as we go into the evening, 74 on Thursday. But that's when we're looking at the widespread heavy rain showers moving through. We'll begin to dry out on Friday at 78 degrees with some sunshine in the afternoon and evening hours. The weekend looking beautiful. So if you are heading over to Blues and Brews in Leland or you're maybe helping out with Keep Greenville Beautiful. You won't have any problems with that. It just might be a little bit on the warm side as we'll be approaching 80 degrees on Saturday, 82 come Sunday. And then as we move into next week, temperatures continue to rise just a little bit more as we're up to 83 and 84 by next Monday and Tuesday. But we do bring in a slight chance of some showers during the afternoon hours. Hmm, but what a treat this weekend after um, all of this gloomy weather it looks like we're going to be getting this week. Yep, and it definitely looks like Mother Nature's beginning to warm things up and we can yep. say goodbye to those cooler temperatures. All right. Sounds great. Well, 